This is the, the Panjwe Valley. It was the birthplace of the Taliban movement in the 1990s. I've been coming here pretty much every year since 2005. And one of my jobs as a, first as a journalist and, and now as a consultant for Crisis Group is to stay in touch with both sides of the conflict and that includes the Taliban. Over the last 18 months, I've been working uh, with my colleagues at Crisis Group trying to uh, talk to the Taliban and understand their point of view about the peace process and their approaches to peace and try to get at some of the unanswered questions that we have about um, how they would go into negotiations first with the Americans and then with the Afghan government. And it's difficult because um, over the years, they've basically only said two things about their political approach. They've said, we want an Islamic government, and they've said, we want the foreigners out. The foreign troops must leave. Well, those are really the only two uh, points that we've been hearing from the Taliban. And so we've been trying to push them a little bit on some of the unanswered questions that they will need to answer if there is to be peace, if they are to make it all the way through a peace process. To be honest, they haven't really formulated uh, positions amongst themselves on these things, but there's a lot of nervousness in urban areas about what the answers might be. You know, what kind of uh, state structure would the Taliban accept? Would they endorse a, a democratic system? Or what would happen to the Afghan security forces and other state institutions? What kind of protections uh, should there be for women and for minorities? Those things that are currently written into the constitution. All of those things uh, are going to have to be hammered out uh, at the negotiating table. When people talk about the Taliban, they often have a, a stereotypical view of them uh, from their former regime in the 1990s. They think of them as, as medieval and backward looking. But actually, when you engage them face to face, they say that there is room for compromise. Uh, but time will tell uh, in the negotiations.